out to uh, Christy Gerlich and uh, her group. Um, she had them ready to play. You know, they're coming off back-to-back -back losses um, before the Christmas break, and um, you see they were they were ready to play. Um, they got after it. I mean, from the from the start, I think they uh, came in and, and punched us in the mouth, and um, we didn't recover until you know almost the second half. Um, I think the uh, early transition stuff got us. We didn't get matched up in transition, um, especially when our shot went up. We didn't have two back consistently, and now they ran the floor and getting them front out layups. And then now, uh, coming back on the second end of that, we're not matched up for the threes. We're expecting a rim run, which they didn't get, but we didn't uh, match up to um, a bunch of kids in, in, in transition for the three-point shot. I don't think I ever coached a team that gave up 10 threes in a game. Um, whether that's uh, all the way back to a UConn game, you know, we've always got out and defended the three. And um, for them to make 10, um, for one kid to make six, you know, that's that's really, really uh, disturbing to me and um, something that uh, we will get rectified ASAP. But, um, you know, we had a little resilience and came in and listened and did what we need to do the second half. Uh, right now, we just uh, have to be fully locked in on the defensive end and doing what we're supposed to do when we're supposed to do it. We had too many breakdowns and um, too many fouls. You know, the other thing is, I thought we should have shared the ball a little bit more. We ended up with 15 assists, but we should have had 25. If we just would have shared the ball a little bit more. Um, but the one thing I can say about this team is, you know, all of those kids are in there are hurt. They have huge expectations for us in this season. And uh, the thing that I feel is going to happen is um, when we get there to watch the film, they'll take some ownership and do what they need to do with that. And then the next practice, we'll be able to fix some things and, and get ready for K-State. What adjustments did you make at halftime to get better in the second half? Yeah, the, the first thing was just the ball movement. Um, we were just coming down playing one-on-one. -on -one. I think we had like six, seven assists. Uh, six assists at halftime because we played a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the other thing was getting in better sets to specialize. If we want to get some continuity where we get the ball moving from the um, right side to the left side and get some reversal. Um, but once we needed to um, get some points on the board with some specialist stuff and, and got Malaya some shots, got Leyland some shots, got Bria some shots and things like that off some special sets. But see, our spacing has to get better in those things. Now, the other thing was uh, going under the ball screen, jamming the ball screens and things like that. Um, that middle ball screen was hurting us a little bit, so we wanted to be able to go under that because um, it wasn't shooting it. They were just using it. Um, we were hedging out, and it was causing us to be in rotation. Um, uh, the other thing we did was try to uh, limit our turnovers, which I thought we did a better job in the second half of you know, cutting under, letting it press bother us a little bit where um, that usually don't happen to us. Got a little rattled with that. Um, so we make sure we have the correct press breaker in. Um, the other thing was just them out there communicating with each other and echoing stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm yelling one thing, um, Naya's yelling another thing, and they're hearing different things. So they all need to echo and, and be able to do that. Um, because again, at home, you should be able to get your plays in like you need to. Um, the other thing was just getting out and transition and run. We wanted to get more shots. I think we end up with 10, 11 more shots. And we usually around 20 more shots than the other team. Um, just got to get on the boards a little bit tougher and, and be able to do that. Um, but those are some of the adjustments we had the opportunity to make. And how do you think you um, Bria kind of from here today? Uh, I thought Bria was outstanding. You know, um, the one thing besides that turnover late in the game when we got it, you know, to 11, um, I, I thought she just needed to put the ball up a little higher and all that kind of stuff. But again, Bria's my rock. You know, that's why she's always going to you know, play all the minutes she play in all the different positions. Um, but she was locked in and doing what she needs to do, and she does that every single day. You know, um, the one thing that Bria doesn't want to do is come out and be um, that needy or a little bit selfish every single game because she's such a team player. Um, she want to get everybody involved, and she'll pass up shots and things like that. But again, I just told her in the timeout, we need you. Um, Leila was struggling a little bit. You know, Naya was struggling a little bit. You know, that kind of stuff. So we needed you to be able to step up. Um, another thing was Cam early foul trouble. That never hurt, never helps us. You know, so again, we need her on the boards a little bit more. But I thought Bria did a really good job for us. Thank you.
second half, you know, in the first week of the league. So that just sort of showed you guys that you know you guys are able to be able to, you guys are there and have the same kind of team. Exactly, exactly. We won three out of four quarters. If you come out and play the first quarter like you play all the rest of them, you're fine. You know, but again, we got back from the holidays and it's been hard getting them going if you're getting the practice. You know, it's just it's no school. And it all just you're laying around in the bed, you get up, you do your weights and conditioning and all that kind of stuff. And so you get to the floor, now you still got to rev them up a little bit. And so that's what the game was like. We took some time to be able to get ourselves going, and they came out the box ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. But the second half, I thought we were, once we were good, be able to go in tune and um, got ourselves going and were uh, able to match what they were doing as a pass a little bit. Uh, we ended up winning the third and fourth quarter. But again, couldn't shave that under 10 and keep it under 10. Um, when we got it to nine, took the time out, and um, we needed to get a stop there, and they threw the ball long, and we will always welcome people to throw it long because we're so long and athletic, we usually get those. But again, uh, post player Jess just uh, made a read on it too late, and, and the girl ended up getting it and we giving up another layup. You know, that's another thing. I didn't think we ever gave up this many layups before. I know we give up some layups sometime in the press, but Again, we gave up a lot of layups this time, and again, those things will be rectified going moving forward. Coach, um, in the third and fourth quarter, what things did you see that were positive in the defense that held them to the 14 points each one? Yeah, yeah, it started with our PA, what we call positive attitude. You know, so again, they, they stayed positive even though the score was something that we didn't, um, you know, we didn't take control of. But they started with that, and that energy flowed through with us getting some stops and doing the things that said for us to be successful. We just had too many mental breakdowns during that time. Um, uh, we had a little bit of what um, they call some hero plays. You know, running through the passing lane, and now they'd be able to split us. Uh, over helping too much and now they can drive and kick to another person. Uh, helping off the ball side corner where we normally don't help off the ball side corner. You know, it's just, we didn't guard and we went our one-on-one -on -one battles. Um, so those things really hurt, but um, we started making some adjustments down the stretch and we had some stretches where we did those things, but overall we were really inconsistent at doing those things.